My name's Seth. I work for Mountain State Construction. That's my company. We put up steel buildings. We've definitely done almost every building out there and every manufacturer, but we stick probably 80% primarily to Great Western Buildings. I like steel buildings. Uh, before I'd started this, I'd been in the steel industry on the other side, detailer, designer, estimator. Uh, with buildings, you know, we're on site anywhere from three days to three months on a project. And at the end of the three days, the week, the month, we get to see a finished product. We get to go, yeah, we put, we did that. That's, that is our work. That's, that's our blood, sweat and tears. And, and we finished that. It was a fun project. Uh, it's the largest building we've put up so far. The three buildings were very different, unique buildings from each other. One of them was a roof only, uh, it was a compost cover just to, uh, keep the, the weather off of it. The other small building was a hay storage to, for them to place their hay in, a uh, pretty small building in the large scheme of things. And then their big arena building, the customer incorporated several buildings into one where they had hipped in a smaller building for their entrance way. And then another small building in front of that as kind of their walkway. Um, interesting, neat to see the way they did it did have a couple of issues, maybe a misfab here on one small part and that many pieces on that so big of a building. Great Western got it taken care of and typically within two days I had it fixed. It was on site and I was able to keep my guys working on other projects while Great Western was getting it taken care of, getting it fixed and making it right. A, a true Western style, a true monitor style, what we call it in the industry, a true monitor style. You got your walls come up, you got your roof pitch. Then at the top, you have two more walls, usually a little shorter, three foot, four foot. And then you have your, your top roof, you know, so essentially you have two roofs and two sets of walls on a building. So you had true gable start the building for your first bay. And then they put that monitor style on top of the, on top of the rafters. They did a really neat insulated polycarbonate um, custom window. They weren't a translucent light panel. So they, they, let, they let a lot of light in um, and, and just very, very unique, very different and not what you see every day. We were able to handle that building with two telehandlers, not have to call in any cranes on that, any larger than that as far as the width goes. I think we would have been bringing a crane in. They did a wainscoat on the stables. Uh, it was half brick, half metal panel. Uh, we did the, we did all the skinning, trimming on that building. So they, they transitioned that building from metal panel, like they had metal wainscoat panel, like they had on the hay storage. They had also introduced stone wainscoat on the stables on certain parts of that building. They had also included the vents, uh, your louvers, which they had on the hay storage and included that into the stables. So a very neat transition. And on the arena, they had done the same thing there where they had used stone at the front entrance walkway for the wainscot and around. And then around the rest of the building, they had done the true metal wainscot. Uh, the compost building was a great building. Um, it was definitely different with the way the foundation was done. Some of the columns were 10 feet taller than the other ones. They were all set on the concrete stem walls. So it was neat to go through it was also kind of difficult to go through and try to put the columns up without having any girts to secure everything together. The smaller building, so a couple of eave struts, got the eave struts on, flew the rafters in, and that way everything stayed together, everything popped in. They've really taken the steps and done a great job to learn from the mistakes that they had, fix the mistakes that they had, and now there's not a lot of issues. The parts are labeled out pretty well. Um, all of your primaries and secondaries are all numbered. It's easy to read, shows it in your plans, tells you right where it goes. I really like the pre-welded clips on the columns and the rafters. It makes life so much easier. You just set it there, you put a bolt in, you're not having to hold it, get two guys. You, you turn a three-man job into a one-man job. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it, guys. Have a good day.